We're back on the five flat conversion job today and we're fitting shower trays. Uh, there's one, two, three, there's obviously five because it's five flats. Five, five shower trays to fit. Already done two. Now we've got three more to go. I'll uh, show you how I fit them a quick overview. Now there's lots of right ways and lots of wrong ways to fit a shower tray. There's no universal one correct method. Everyone has their own methods to do it. This is how I do it. The walls are getting cladded in um, multi-plan or cladded, cladded, hence why these are done in ply. It's what, the, what was specified by the builder. Um, how I do it, this is going to be a high use environment for people that don't give any fucks about destroying the shower tray or, or anything in the bathroom. Um, so although the shower could sit on the floor, I always like to have access to the drain point. So I tend to, in a high use environment, I like to raise the shower up, make access underneath just to get at the trap. Um, <clears throat> you've got 18 mil OSB between the tray and the frame. So the frame goes down there, down there, down there, across there, <clears throat> and the 18 mil ply, all screwed uh, and leveled, packed up so it's absolutely bang on level. Um, and then what I do, um, I sit the tray on expanding foam. Uh, so we get the foam gun and we, we run loads of it. It's not high yield foam, just low yield foam so it doesn't push the tray up. And sit the tray on that, then the foam expands under the tray to fill any voids. Some people frown against that, uh, that installation method, but I've done dozens and dozens of trays in hotels and stuff over the years all using the same method and to this day the trays they haven't moved haven't budged and they don't leak so I can say that method's good so we're going to be fitting this tray that's 760 by 1100 so we stick it on the OSB mark around it cut out our sheet and then we're going to have a frame there 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 and a middle piece and uh, let's go upstairs so this is the ensuite we're going to be fitting the tray into it's a 760 by 1100 so you got your tray there electric shower basin toilet it's very tight it's a very compact bathroom so what we need to do is the plasterers have put this board in and they made a bit of a mess of uh, putting it in we need to cut, cut back all the foam sweep the floor and there's our frame for the uh, tray and we'll get that down so that's the frame for our tray where the, the 18 mil OSB is going to sit on top of that. Now someone will probably say, well, there's not enough support in there because this part is unsupported, this part's unsupported. Well, you've got the OSB under there to provide the support for the tray. And someone might say, well, you need, you need tile adhesive between the tray and the OSB, flexible adhesive. Well, otherwise it'll crack. This, this is my answer to that. Um, if you look at the tray underneath, you'll see it's got one, two, three, four, six screw holes in the bottom of it for a leg kit. So essentially, if you if you want to get a leg kit for the shower, you get a leg there, 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 and a leg there with no support in between. Um, so just work that work that one out for yourself. So the 18 mil ply, the supports I have in there, and the foam to fill the gap probably isn't needed, but it sticks it in place and stops it moving, so it works. So we're starting to level the tray up now. It's uh, getting there, it's not too far off. Uh, and you can see the floor, although it's new, new joist, new floor, and the, the, the joiner they're using here is absolutely shit up, perfect. Um, yeah, it needed packing. And again, the floor is quite a way out in that direction. And what we've got to be careful for here is when we're fixing that timber, um, we've got pocket doors, so we can't screw through there. It's got to be got to be fixed to the floor, which you would anyway. But these things you have to look out for. So our frame is now packed and fixed into place, and that ain't going anywhere. So there's our shower base OSB 18 mil plinth top. And we need to offer that to there, then screw it down. Now, I've not checked that the gap's the correct size. Um, I just trust the joiners on this job that they uh, work to plan. <laughs> Let's see. I knew they wouldn't let me down. Fits absolutely bang on. And it's perfectly square. Nice job, joiners. 
Next job is to bang a load of screws into there, get that secure, then check for level. Because I'm only a poor heating engineer, I can only afford a, a two amp hour 18 volt DeWalt, but it does the job. Um, so let's go, let's get it screwed down. <laughs> There's our tray ready to go in. Because the gap is so tight, I mean, the tray will just fit in. Um, it ain't getting test, test fitted, it's getting dropped in. And uh, what we get is what we get. I've let, checked the level on there. Levels on there are bang on, so as long as the tray's manufactured correctly, it should be level. Let's see. So there's our foam tracks laid. The tray will compress them and they will expand to fill any voids under the train stop it rocking if it is manufactured incorrectly which it isn't because I have kind of tested it on a flat surface try and keep the foam away from the edges so you don't get any push up around there just have to pull that back bit back a bit and yeah let's drop it in and see if it fits so fair play to the joiners they actually uh, got the gap absolutely perfect uh, I don't like to fit the tray so they're exact measurements i like to do it so it's the gap is maybe five mil oversized so 10 mil oversized in total just so you can get a nice bead of silicon um on the on the gaps there just so there's no chance of it leaking and to buy that extra stiction as well um that's it so we're gonna seal the tray get the waste in and uh yeah jobs are good